Welcome back, Foul Mouth Fishing, all you hookaholics. So uh, this is a video you're going to want to watch until the end. Uh, we'll get to why later. So until we get to that point, this is what we got. So we got our fish bolt for July 2021. Showed up on my doorstep today, and uh, we're going to crack into it and see exactly what's in July's fish bolt. Uh, again, this is their elite tier. This is the highest level of fish bolt for $150 a month. We've been less, uh, they've been lackluster and we've been less than impressed. Let's see if they can turn the tables uh, for July. So stay tuned. So remember, our Christmas in July giveaway is coming up, and inside is going to be one of these Busby 3700 size series. It's not a 3700, but it's a 3700 sized box. So you're going to get one of these Busbys. It's going to be empty, but I'm going to throw in a package of each of the styles of uh, inserts so that you can kind of customize uh, the Busby as you wish. I'm also leaving the literature in there if you want to get a specific style of Busby insert, you can go on their website and pick it up. Uh, but Busby recently came out with their deep box. So you have the standard and then you have the deep, which is about twice the size, a little less than twice the size of the standard 3700. Uh, so this way, you know, you're not quite squashing your baits. I've had small issues with, you know, the larger, more bulbous sized, um, Square bills, crankbaits, etc. It does kind of uh, bow the, the the lid here and there because of the way it's designed with these individual honeycombs uh, or square notches on the top that seal everything so the stuff doesn't rattle between chambers, um, which is a great benefit. But at the same time, with a large belly bait, when you're trying to pack multiple baits into each bin, it gets a little bit precarious. So I broke down and I've decided to order and I got a bunch of the deep versions of the buzz bin. So uh, that's cool. I'm looking forward to them. It's a big difference. Uh, obviously, you can pack a lot more hard plastic baits in there uh, without the worry of it compressing. But more importantly, let's see what we got in our July fishbowl. Now, fishbowl, again, not been very impressive as of late. It's more been camping than fishing. But, uh, you know, I don't hold back. I was impressed when they sent the, uh, you know, first gen or second gen uh, fish finder. Um, that wasn't bad, but uh, there's been a lot of stuff in these boxes that just were not angler specific. So we're going to crack this open. They put a little tissue paper, make it all nice, nice. Oh, almost lost the card here. So this one for July 2021's Fish Vault Elite Collection. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six items. Six items ranging from the full cost of the box down to a $5 item. So this one, at least, I think maybe they're listening. We will find out. Because that right there, that's angler specific. I'm going to start at the bottom because I want to start at the lowest price tier item and I'll work my way back up to what's actually covering the cost of the box. Now I'm going to research this item, the, the highest tier item, I'm going to put right up here, which is going to be my left, I don't know, it's probably your right, but, <laughs> but I'll put a little picture up here because it's blank space as to what I've researched to find out the actual price of this specific item, and we'll see if it really does retail for what they say. But starting at the bottom, Kodiak Kate's Protein Chocolate Chip Granola Bar. Something you wouldn't suspect and something you think I'd be upset about, but this is an item in the box that I actually like. I actually enjoy that they send these little, um, uh, these little treats along with uh, these boxes. Now, before I did get cereal, I got some like a granola cereal with berries. 
These are crunchy granola bars by Kodiak, and they're chocolate chip um, granola bars. So these are 100% whole grain, non-GMO, um, just snack bars. 10 grams of protein per bar. There are six, one and a half, 1.59, so one and three, uh, two thirds um, uh, ounce bars. Oh, excuse me, six pouches, 1.59 ounces each, but there's two bars per pouch. So a total of 12 of these granola bars. So that's even better. $5. $5. Minuscule item. I appreciate it. Going out on a boat, you want to have a snack in the middle of the day. You don't want to have to come back in, anchor up, moor up, come on to shore, get something to eat for lunch. You can pack this, a couple bottles of water, what have you. It's something to snack on in between, all right? I do appreciate that, especially if you're running late and you're getting out on the lake to get, to get the, uh, you know, sunrise uh, casts. You can, you can have something to chow down on early in breakfast. So that I appreciate. I do like that in these boxes. I liked it in their, ang in their uh, hunt vault, and I do like it in the fish vault. So that's their $5 item, cheapest thing. Next up for $10, double the value. Uh, My Medic Med Packs Blister Prevention and Treatment. So My Medic, this is a blister prevention package. So you have little strips, alcohol wipes, and antibiotic ointment for people who's getting blisters on the back of their heels. I know for a fact that the job that I do, I'm on my feet quite extensively. And, um, yeah, I do get blisters every once in a while on the back of my heel. I have a coworker who actually has bone spurs, so he suffers immensely um, on and off. But that's pretty cool. If you're on the cast, you're, you're out deck, uh, on, the, on the casting deck and you're working a tournament and you're on your legs all day, you've done practice, you know, you're doing a four-day tournament, it can be helpful, uh, especially if you're prone to blisters, um, or like me, bank angling, walking, trudging through the forest, through the woods, along the, the shallow ends of the bank, um, you know, a lot of hiking around to get to your fishing location. These kinds of things, not angler specific, but valuable. So I'm not going to write this on as a good thing because it's not angler specific, but I do appreciate it. The snacks, I give a pass for. I like seeing snacks in these boxes. This, eh, amends amends on. All right, so that's $10 for the blister prevention. Next, GPS cotton fishing towel. This is angler specific. So from GPS, we have a fishing towel. So it's a nice, yeah, a very nice uh, cotton towel with, you can see it, a measuring tape from one to 25 inches on the edge of the towel. Awesome if you're going after a rainbow trout, um, if you're going after any kind of slimy fish, you got something to wipe your hands off, and you've got a little quick tape measure. And because it's on something that's pliable, this will give you not only length, but you can gently wrap this around. Obviously, you wouldn't wrap it around dry, but if it was wet and you wrap it around the fish, um, you know, obviously protecting their slime coat, you can get a girth measurement as well as a length measurement if you're, especially if you're trying to do like, um, to have one of the uh, high quality replications done um, for a wall hanger of whatever your PB might be. That's very good. And $13, I will accept that as a reasonable, oh, excuse me, yeah, uh, a reasonable price. So it features a 24 inch measuring tape. It says one to 25. Mm, yeah, well, the last inch is there. It's one to 25, really. Uh, measuring tape. Um, absorbent, durable, uh, keeps fishermen honest and legal. <laughs> That's nice. So that, A number one, first item, well, not first item on the card, but first item that is truly angler specific. So for, for one for two, or one for three. Next, Protect SPF 30 Organic Sunscreen. Again, yes, sunscreen is not angler specific. Totally acceptable in a fishing box. Um, skin is the most important thing you can be in, and uh, you got to protect it because skin cancer is no joke. Um, this is an SPF 30, all organic, zinc oxide based, uh, UVA and UVB ray uh, protectant. 
So that's pretty cool, something I honestly should use more often and probably will. So I'll be zinking up the old snuffer here um, in the future. Not bad. I appreciate it. Not angler specific, but 100% acceptable in the box. So we're two for four. Two for two. Two in, two out as far as being uh, angler and fishing specific. $18 for the sunscreen. I grew up on Long Beach Island. We have sunscreen from banana boat to everything else. And I know the price is there. $28 a small jar of sunscreen. I, I'll take the $18. It may be overpriced. You may have better knowledge as to that brand and, uh, you know, an organic sunscreen. Obviously, you're going to pay more because it's organic. But neither here nor there, that's, uh, that's acceptable. I'm telling you right now, the last two items, they've stepped up their bar. I'm going to say they only screwed up on two that are not angler specific. And the Medipack is acceptable. And the Klondike's, or the, yeah, the Klondike, or Kodiak, excuse me, uh, snacks are 100% something that I ask for personally, so I write that off as not really a, a check against them at all. So in all of this, they've only had one item that I can truly say is completely not angler-esque, uh, and that being the, the blister pack for your, for your heels. So next to last, $40 item. So everything from the $40 of this, the $18 for the organic uh, sunscreen, the $13 for the cotton towel, the 10 for the Medipack for the blisters, and the $5 for the protein bars, the granola bars. All of this is just added on top of the value. I pay $150 for the box. The next item after I speak through this one will be the $100, $150 value. So this item, Pelican G4 uh, Personal Utility Go Case. So it's another little Pelican Go Case similar to what I got... Uh, that I want to use for my go-to battery pack. So this is a utility case. It's got a nice grip here that you can slap a carabiner or rope around. Okay. It Inside it fits. You know what? I'll take it the heck out. Why the heck not? Simple enough to undo because they only have zip ties. So Pelican's textbook latches. Nice seal padded for your cell phone. Awesome. Uh, padded top and bottom for the cell phone to protect your cell phone. It does have the vacuum little pack there. So it snaps shut and is, and is uh, watertight, airtight. And it also, maybe it's on the inside. I'm missing it. Okay, this the cell phone case comes out. On the back side of this little cardboard, you know, fabric-covered cardboard insert, you have a place for credit cards or spare change, your driver's license, your voter's license. It's got one little, uh, uh, I'm going to say Velcro, not Velcro, uh, elastic band here. And then you've got two pockets for, like I said, for credit cards, voter's license, etc. And then you've got an elastic band. You can put a couple of dollars in cash for your gas money. Um, and it is ported. If you do have a, ca a phone, a camera phone that, uh, would accept the port here for your lens or bottom. Uh, obviously not like an iPhone with a 4 on the side, but that's cool. We can still take photos without just by lifting this whole thing up if you wanted to do so. And beneath this pouch, you're going to have more room under here. Keep in it, my suggestion, what I'm going to do, a grease pencil, because grease pencils are great walking or, you know, writing on things uh, that you can then smear off later, but they're pretty durable even in wet weather. You can always write... Uh, in rain with a grease pencil, a regular pen, uh, a couple pads of paper, keep notes, etc. That is nice, and again, it is airtight, watertight, and floats. <laughs> so that's cool. So you've got um, IP67 rated, protected from water, dirt, snow, and dust, a single hinge latch, abrasion resistant texture. Uh, handle for easy carry, or again, like I say, tie a rope if you're a kayak fisherman, tie that on, lanyard it to your boat, keep your phone in that, keep your, your gear in that, you're, you're not going to lose it. Rubberized protected bumper, yeah, I guess so, I didn't really see that part of it. And it's got a divider tray with a credit card pocket and cord management. Oh, okay, so the little, what they have is they have the, um, the on this picture in the back, I'm going to show you the picture. They have your phone USB charging cables strung around that little elastic band. I personally wouldn't do that. I'd probably keep the 
cable underneath in the gap between the divider and the phone on the top. That definitely totally useful, especially for a uh, for a kayak angler or a boating angler. That's cool. Protects your valuable electronics. Again, forty dollars for that. Now, definitely the item that I'm going to look up to make sure it's worth one hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, I know Quantum. Quantum's been around a long time. Uh, Quantum reels are hit or miss, good and bad, and they do have varieties that are relatively high price and relatively budget friendly. So from Quantum, this is the, one of their per performance tune series. Now remember, I did get a Quantum reel from Angler's Hall. This is a Quantum reel in Fish Vault. So they've stepped up their game. We got a reel, we got an electronics protection case from Pelican, which is obviously a boating friendly company. We've got sunscreen, we've got a fishing towel, truly angler friendly, uh, a medi kit and uh, some protein bars. But uh, top of the list, what's definitely angler specific. Uh, this is their Vapor VP40 XPT. Comes with your information. And this is a spinning reel. So what do we got going in here? Um, I really wish Quantum would carry real oil with all their stuff, but this is a spinning reel, so uh, that's cool. Nicely packaged. Cork. One of those really cool cork handles, PT Performance cork handles. Uh, nuts on this side. I will... <laughs> I'll set this up right-handed. Uh, probably going to edit this part out. All right, so take the dust cover off the left side, put the real handle on the right side, and now we have a right-hand retrieve. Not bad. So it's a 40, a Vapor 40 um, from Quantum. Nice aluminum, I'm going to say. Chinese, of course. Let's see. Obviously, the clicking drag that we all love. Not bad. So it's got the CSC3 drag. It'll hold 230 yards of... Um, 230 yards of 10-pound monofilament or 200 yards of 30-pound braid. And it runs... 0.33 millimeter uh, spool. So that's uh, really, really nice. Checking it out. It's not a refurbish. That's one thing you have to be careful with. Uh, something I had mentioned in the back, you got to stress. When you get into these box companies, there is an error that you expect brand new merchandise. I expect all brand new merchandise. So whenever you get these, a word to the wise, Make sure you look at this reel, you know, very cautiously. Give it a spin around. Make sure, look at very key points. Points where wear and rubbing are common. Things like the grip won't tell you because they can throw a new grip on no problem in a refurbishing uh, uh, deal. Look beyond the bale inside for wear marks, inside the, the bottom aluminum pieces. Look for tiny spots where... They may have disassembled and thrown it back together as a refurbished item, and they're giving you a refurbished uh, reel rather than a brand new reel. And obviously, always look at your box. Any refurbished uh, merchandise is supposed to be listed and should be marked refurbished. Um, but when you're paying $150 for a package, you should not get uh, secondhand rebuilt uh, equipment. Uh, that being said, this is obviously, to the best of my eye, a brand new reel. So I appreciate that. Same as I've never had any problems with Angler's Hall. I've looked at all theirs as well. And they've always been brand new products. Uh, so that's that's great. This does have the little line hook on the side here. I've never used those. I just think it's in a precarious position. Um, I will say this. What I have done is I've made a, a fisherman's loop, tied it on, and then started that on my on my reel. And then, you know spun around to, to, to line it, but I've never actually <laughs> just clipped my line when I'm done on it. I don't know. I always tie it onto the handle or hook it onto 
like uh, with these kinds of reels, I put my, my hook through one of these openings and tighten it down and put it in my rod lockers or, uh, you know, what have you. That's cool. Crap, I'm going to have to go buy myself a new rod. <laughs> so it looks like I'm in the, in the market for another fishing rod. <laughs> that said, why did I say you should watch this all the way through? Because this is the video for our fishing in July. So this video, you can't comment on. Well, you can comment on it. <laughs> you can comment on this video all you want. This is not going to count towards the Christmas in July giveaway. However, every video that I've posted from before this video, so the video prior to this release, back to when I announced the Christmas in July, basically the whole year, um, go in, comment, something related to the video. Watch the video all the way through. Don't be one of those people that clicks it on three minutes into a 15 minute video and then turns it off. Five minutes into an eight minute video, turns it off. Two minutes into a 13 minute video, turns it off. Watch the video through. Spend some time, listen to the crap that I have to say, block out the ramblings, because it happens, I admit it. Um, see if there's anything that catches your ear and comment on that subject. Bring something of value to the topic that was in the video. I will pick a random video, so I will give you this. It'll be any random video from this one backwards, not including this one, of course, um, and I will pick a comment. Now the comment won't technically be as random. It will be a random comment generator, but I will be the decider whether or not it's an acceptable comment. So. If I go back to a video and the comment on it was, nice box, and that's the one the random generator picked, you're not winning this. If it's, wow, uh, that's a great spinnerbait, I love spinnerbaits, um, I've always fished willows or you know double willow leaves, I've never done a Colorado, that's interesting. That is a comment that will win the box. Um, hey Scott, nice review, uh, I appreciate you know, uh, spending the time to do these things, that would win it. Um, as long as there's something really based on some intricacy in the comment. If it's just cool box, cool video, thanks bro, it's not enough. It's not enough. I want interactions. I want communications and I like, uh, you know, I like communicating with you. So that said, this video backwards check them out see what might catch your ear catch your eye comment on it and then you got three days three days three days from today i will randomly pick a video through the random uh com or yeah randomly pick a video through a numbers picker which i've labeled each video in sequence and it'll just randomly pick a number and that video is the one i'm going to go to i'm not going to tell you which video is video one and it's not in order of posting so don't think that if nine comes up, it's the ninth video I've posted since announcement. Uh, it is randomized. And I'll go to that video, and that video will then hit the random number or random comment picker. And if the comment is suitable to my liking, I will announce you as the winner on the 25th of July. So, duh, Christmas 25th, come on. Today's the cutoff. Go back. Uh, listen to some videos, comment on them. In three days, I will go through and pick a video, and hopefully your comments on one of those videos, or on all the videos, heck, that's your best chance of winning, right? And then that person will get the box. And uh, the reason I, I mentioned the Colony Wides is because the original box that I had for the giveaway wasn't big enough for all the stuff that I put in, uh, including things that I did not tell you I put in. And so uh, I'm using the Colony 28D box to, uh, because it's about that much taller. So the original box was about yay big. The Colony box is about yay big, too big to fit in the screen. So uh, you're definitely getting a lot of stuff. And again, please, if you win and you feel the, or the, the, the desire to pay it forward, take things that you know you don't like or don't fish or what have you, bag them up, give them away, give it away. Uh, share, share, share. That's what life is all about. Again, thank you all for spending a little bit of time with me. Uh, good luck to all of you, and uh, keep your lines tight, and I'll catch you on the next cast, Tokaholics. Peace.